the Iowa State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he's tackled at the 15. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Fires it out to the tight end, and he's got the first. And down he goes at about the 45. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. up and he's sacked for a loss. So the protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Iowa State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two. And they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that he's throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. From their own 23-yard line, second down. And he's hit immediately. He wants it all going long. Has it to the senior. And he's taken down at the 35. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. Come on, oh, come on, oh. Makes it to the 21. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Brought down at the 15-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Check, check. Check. Disco Raymond. Disco Raymond. They'll bring him down the seven-yard line.
We're at play number nine of this current drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Third and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he is drilled at the 12. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Iowa State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Cyclones are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Gives it off. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up third and six. Check that, check that. We're going Mike 52 right here. And they make the stop at the 27. Loss of three on the way. That'll bring up fourth and nine. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Showed a good burst there. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Iowa State holds a field goal lead. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he's tackled at the 34. That's a team of 24 in one way. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled at the 26. That's good for a game of eight yards. That brings up second and nine. Tackle made at the 26 yard line. And he hits him hard at the 13. And he gets a yard on the run. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game, offense. So the delay of game will move him back a few, and I'm pretty sure the coach isn't happy with his quarterback right now. 
from the 17 yard line. It's second down. Go! Six foot not! Yes, yeah, Tackle at the 21 yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Iowa State in front, 3 0. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Iowa State is up by three. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's taken down at the 18. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. The kick is up, off the upright and in. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. He sends this one deep. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Backward pass. That's a fumble. Picks up the fumble. The 10. Touchdown, Iowa State. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he was able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After, after review, review of the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field, field stands. stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And he tackles him hard. The 37 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Six yards on that completion. Good recovery here by the corner to react that quickly on the throw and prevent this from becoming even a bigger game. receiver in a hurry. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Catches it and that's all. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He takes it at the 12. 
They'll bring him down at the 16. Iowa State staff, you've you got to think they're going to be happy. They're almost here at halftime. They've got the lead, and their main guy's not playing very well. Well, to think that they have this lead without him playing well, I think, is a testament to the way they've approached this week. You know, he's he's eventually going to catch fire. And I'm sure as they talk uh, to one another at halftime, they're probably not going to get too far away from the game plan. Continue to utilize their star player and hope that the others continue to play well in the second half. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. He steps out at the 19. He's knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on it. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. That's a deep seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Fires in a hurry. Interception. And they'll return this one all the way. And he's taken down right around the 34. Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception? Boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. It's a great tackle at the 32. The running back gets two on the carry. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. And the safety with the interception. That's the last thing they needed to have was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Number 57 breaks it up. That makes it second and 10. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Hey, watch that. Hey, watch the ball. I gotta go. Steps out of bounds at the 40. That's good for him. Gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Booming kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. It falls incomplete. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, nine. He 
he's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. Throw to the back, it's incomplete. Number 29 was the intended receiver on that play. That'll make it fourth and six. Oh, what a hit. The Cyclones offense today, Herbie, we looked at it all week as being a ground-oriented attack, and I'm a little bit surprised by how they're moving the ball in the air. This has been fun to watch. You're right. I mean, I, I thought we'd come in and see a, a dominant running game, and up to this point, it's really been more about the quarterback and the receiver. He heaves it deep, and it's intercepted. Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. First and 10, ball in 34. He fires left side. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Second and ten. Ready? Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Go ahead, two. Go. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Mike 52, Mike 52. Go. He fires. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. So it's another third down upcoming here. Roger, Roger. Where's 52? Black 52. 52's the mic. Red right here, right here. two. Black. And he's level at the 46-yard line. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Try to change the field position with his kick. a missed opportunity by the offense. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game we've done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Kicks up. Yeah. 
So at the end of the half, Iowa State in front, 13-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The Jayhawks pretty much stunk it up in the first half. Came in here as a heavy favorite. Haven't performed that way. You started seeing the offensive coordinator almost panic, starting to dial up shot plays, hoping to get it all back in, in one push of the button. Well, that's not good. Panic's not good ever, is it? Nope. Especially for, for a coach. But you're down two scores, and, and they got to find some kind of way to get themselves going. You don't come into a game as a heavy favorite and be down 14 or two scores at the half and not have some kind of panic inside of you. You're supposed to win this game. You know you're better than the other opponent, but to be down two scores, you got to figure it out. you got to get that energy level up. you got to come out in the second half. You can't wait to the fourth quarter. You better get something going early in the second half right off the jump street. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. All right, Reese and Davis, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Up the middle for a nice game. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 36. That makes it first and 10. Check, check, check. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Go, check, check, that disco is raver, hard. disco raver. Motion, motion, motion. I, I... Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. It's up, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two, and he just got drilled. Iowa State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. The halfback with a carry. He's taken down right around the 20. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 20. My 52, my 52. Great two. Blue four. Blue four. There's a strike 
incomplete. He's down. They just kind of spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. That'll bring up fourth and one. He really got a hold of that one. Fielded at the 19. The tackle at the 26. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Ready. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Big opening. They go to the left for a nice game. Down. That's, That's a gain of six, six on the play. First, First down. down. Tackle at the 41. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. Tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And they're coming after this punter. He's taken down at the 36. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's hit immediately. Second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Knocked out of bounds at around the 44-yard line. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From the 44-yard line. It's second down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. down 10 yards to go ball on the 29 that's the end of three quarters to play and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought 
The Cyclones with a 16-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. situation here. It's second down and one. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. And he's taken down at the 10-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, goal to go. Ten yards to the end zone. It's the tailback. Picked up a yard, if anything, on that run. That's a nice play there by the sophomore out in the corner. He read the run and stepped up and made a nice tackle. It's the 11th play of the drive. Fires out quick, it's picked off. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. From their own eight yard line, first down. to his receiver. He's tackled at the 18. Call the game of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Hey, it's just, it's just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Alert, 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 alert Steamer, alert, Steamer. Gonna go across the middle of the court. And he's immediately tackled. Game of 12 on the way. First and 10. down in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. That'll bring up third and four. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. Alert three. Alert three. Zips it to the tight end, and he's tackled at about the 41. That's good for a gain of five yards. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Just over two minutes in the game. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? And this play is number eight on the drive. He's at midfield. 
He makes his way to about the 42. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Gets out to around the 25. That's a eight on the way. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. From the 26 yard line. Second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. This is the 13th play of this drive. This one's all but wrapped up. The Cyclones come out on top. 16 nothing. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.